All right, I'm out with June this morning, more than fishing, and we're teaming up to catch some fish. So there's been some stripers out here. There's always some perch out here. We're gonna just look through the surf until we can find either one or both. So I'm gonna throw this lucky craft that catches the bigger perch and then any striped bass out here. June's just going for perch for now. And we'll see how we do. You know, maybe if he's catching a million perch, may have to make it a perch day. But I really want to get on a nice surf striper this year. I've been grinding hard the last couple of days with no success. So I'm hoping today's the day. I actually see some pelicans acting a little suspicious out there. So hopefully they move their way this way and will be a good indicator of where where the bait is and where we should be if we want to catch a fish so let's get going see if we can make it happen oh look at those birds i know i, know. I hope today's the day they don't look too focused on anything we go here yeah let's just give it a try all right today's the day little lucky craft right here perfect profile for big perch and any size striper so let's give it a flick right out there come on give me some action it's been a couple of slow days i feel like i i forgot what it feels like to have a fish on i'm just flicking it out in front of me and a nice slow retrieve just enough so I can feel the action of the lure darting in the water. And we're just going to be doing a lot of walking today. So cast and then walk down the beach till we find these fish. But today we are going to find them. Nothing on that lucky craft. So I put on this seven inch pencil popper. I'm going to throw it out here. It's a lot of more fun than the lucky craft. To be honest, I love throwing poppers. It'd be really nice to get a striper on one. Look, just cast out there, cast pretty far, and then just walk the dog back. And I can see it darting around the surface. Basically, when you twist your rod tip like this, it makes it go side to side, and that head sticks up. So it really looks like a bait fish just trying to flee really fast, and the bass will come up and just suction it basically so see if we can get one of the popper switching once more to the trusty cast master it's probably the fishiest lure in the world i think if you were to go to any beach and you just wanted to catch a fish it's a good bet last striper i caught was on this thing and this thing is nice because since it's just solid metal you can cast it about a mile and a half so there it goes, nice, steady retrieve. Maybe this is the ticket. No action for June, no action for me, no action for anyone at the beach, no action even for the pelicans from what I've seen. So looking rough, but we just need one fish to make our day. June's on. Good one. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> don't tell me this guy was alone. Please tell me he was swimming with his friends. Been casting like a maniac all morning. Absolutely nothing for me. Uh, dang. Oh well. Tide's going out now, so it's looking a little flat out at this beach, but I really want to get a fish today. Really, really, really want to get a fish today. So June and I are going to move to a different beach. Uh, you know, go straight to these fish. We're looking for them. Wherever they're hiding, we're looking for them. Doesn't matter what beach they're in, what hole we're in, we're going to find them. Let's get over to this new beach.
All right, new beach. We're joined by Adam, diehard fishing. June, more than fishing. Everyone's out here. All right, this is the moment. Let's see. Last striper I got was right here and using the lure I'm using now. So please, we've grinded all morning. Give us a fish. June is on again, god damn. Oh, and that looks like a nice one too. Nice! Nice. Adam! Right in front! Oh. Literally been grinding absolutely all morning for nothing. Two beaches, like seven hours. I've just been watching June catch fish all day and we're on. Oh, it's decent. Ooh, I see him. He's riding that wave over there. Adam's just taking a little break right behind me. I've told him to... I've alerted him that I got a fish on so he can get a cast in there if he wants. Let's loosen the drag. This one feels good. This one's heavy. Just don't want to lose them on the wave here, so just start walking back a little bit. Oh, I am so glad I stayed. I was about to leave, guys. It's always when I'm about to leave. I think it's a good one. You can cast. Yeah, cast master, right as it hit the the water just keep it tight here and i'm gonna let the wave do it loosen the drag don't want to lose him here. Nice! Oh. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> yeah! Right there. Oh, that's fat! That's, that's a nice big. one. That's that a, is nice a nice one. Fish. That is a oh. nice one. Yeah! yeah. Alright, bro! Thank you. That's a nice Thank one. You. That's a fat oh. one. Oh, got up. Uh, 31. Nope, not even. Oh, right, right, Adam was right. 48. There we go, 28 inch striper. It's kind of fat, fat though. It's fat. It's fat, yeah. It's fat. After all morning, really nice striper. 28 inches, we're gonna get him released. Feels good. I was just watching June catch fish all day. So, got one. Alright, that's a big one. It was on a ounce and a half cast master. As soon as the lure hit the bottom, he just slammed it. Yeah. I just need that for the next tournament. <laughs> I cannot tell you how happy that made me right now. So I met up with June at 6.30 in the morning. Originally, since high tide was at 9.30, I was like, oh, maybe I'll probably leave around 10.30, something like that. But June just kept fishing, kept fishing, and I'm just trying to keep up with him. So we went to different beaches all over. It's 
1 p.m. now. I was about to head out and boom, fish on. That just goes to show one fish can absolutely change the day. One cast. That's why for me it's so hard to have a, to leave when I'm fishing because I know that I'm one cast away from the day just being fantastic day plus fish which is doubly fantastic so now I got the energy to keep going for 10 hours if I wanted so we're gonna, just gonna keep casting see if we can't find another striper so this is what I got him on little cast master ounce and a half and super simple basically just wind up cast that thing to Japan let it hit the water maybe give it a second or two and then just go like this boom fish on that that's how it was nice steady reel you can give it a little bit of a action if you please so what the stripers are eating a lot of out here are anchovies which have the same chrome color as the metal I'm throwing. And oh, oh, I'm on again. Nice. Fish on. Woo! No way. He's on again. Ha! He's on again. Let's go. Let's go. That cast master magic, baby. Oh, I'm being rewarded for my efforts. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Two back to back, baby. Please stay on. <laughs> yes man yeah, you can't see it because the GoPro is not facing me but I'm smiling like the Cheshire cat right now tell you that so maybe there's a school around because that was too literally back to back so we'll see if June or Adam hook up now but let's focus on landing this fish Keep it tight. Ah, uh, yes! Oh, yes! Yeah. yes. Uh. Woo. That's a good 25 right there. Nice. Two in a row! Two in a row! I'm so glad to leave. You said you're going home! No, 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 yeah. <laughs> I might stay the night here actually. Another fish, another release really fast. Beautiful striper. My day just changed in the last three minutes right here. Zero fish to two. There we go. Yes. So hygiene. That is the magic folks. Two fish back to back after seven hours without a bite so oh, I'm so happy let's see if we can go three back-to-back -back fish that's it cast it out there give it a second to sink reel it reel it boom oh, I wish I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun coming out here and catching some fish. So if you'd like to stay tuned, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like this video. If you're into halibut shirts, check out the merchandise I made. And as always, until next time, everyone, tight lines.